everyone uh maneco 64 here home of alternative economics and contrarian views so it's sunday march 22nd uh 2020 uh it is uh skull and bones day as lord mungus would say 322 um yeah we've got quite a few people already a few people were waiting i'm a little early a couple of minutes but it doesn't matter uh john the glass is here hi john Marek kalenda silver form natural fool blue smoke blue smoker h1 wartime president about to speak uh yeah um interesting times uh he won't be uh talking about um sound money or <laughs> riding off you know riding off the debt saving money but uh david bradley Y Yagi one, hi uh, Yagi one. A trillion here and a trillion there. And next, you you think you know? <laughs> you're talking about real money. Uh, yeah, they're trying very hard because what's happening in the market? The reason they they're pumping all this money uh, into the system or credit? It's really credit. It's not real money, right? Um, we we are in a fiat currency debt based system. They're pumping it not because, well, partly, I guess, because they're shutting everything down in the economy, but also to save the financial system. I don't think they're going to succeed. So uh, Grow Mechanic is here. Yeah, Billy is here. <laughs> uh, yeah, we do have Billy Airways already. Uh, we have a Billy Airways uh, T-shirt and, and mug uh, with a silver lining. Hi, Aaron Levy. Thank you, uh, Bobcat Bren. Vin vintage Girl from Canada. Hi, Vintage Girl. Vajra, nice to see you again. Niels Jensen, Jensen from Denmark. Oh, yeah, talking about Denmark and Scandinavia in general. There's a story today I was reading in the FT that, uh, where is it? Uh, yeah, coronavirus, Nordic high-yield bond funds uh, block withdrawals. So, <clears throat> excuse me, all over Den uh, all over Scandinavia, let me have a drink of my coffee, my throat. Uh... So this is what the story says. Dozens of Nordic funds have suspended trading, <clears throat> blocking investors from pulling out in the reflection of the intense strain on high yield corporate debt markets during the uh, crisis and the challenge to funds in meeting redemption requests. Uh, Dansk Invest, the asset management arm, arm of Denmark's biggest lender, had 15 Danish funds suspended on Friday, most of them high yield bonds. Carnegie Fonder in Sweden gated 12 funds on Friday, mostly in corporate bonds, while Forta Credit, a Norwegian high-yield fund, was suspended all of last week. Other fund managers such as Spilton Cicero and Danske in Sweden and Jiske Bank in Denmark all suspended funds last week. So this is not just a Scandinavian problem. It's going to happen everywhere around the world. And why are they... Uh, with uh, blocking people from taking their money because they have no idea how much the funds are worth because they can't get, uh, how can I say, a market maker to make a, a price on their bonds. So if customers want to liquidate the funds, uh, their funds, uh, the fund managers and the banks, they can't go in the market and liquidate uh, each uh, bond that they have because there's no market for it. So it's really serious, and I think it's it's going to spread all over the world. And that goes hand in hand with the title uh, of my uh, live stream that the central bankers, they're behind. The central banking model is behind all these problems. And why? Well, because they create moral hazard. Uh, they uh, encourage investors and banks to act recklessly. And why, why, why do they do, how do they do that? 
Well, because they they're they're supposedly the lender of last resort. They come in and always bail them out. So they've spoiled these people. They're like spoiled brats. The bankers, the the whole financial system is a big, big spoiled child. And I think that child is going to get in big trouble. I think that child is going to be punished severely. And that, that's what we're seeing. Uh, a lot of people already, 136. I'm sorry if I missed any of you. Uh, let's see. Ben Gray. Hi, Ben. Mark W. Uh, from Coventry. Hi, Mark. Jerry Purcell. Luis Claudio from Rio in Brazil. Uh, Pablo Pina, mother of all bubbles, incoming, endless printing, unsustainable. I think, yeah, they're, that's what they're trying. I saw over the weekend, uh, before Friday, they were talking about a trillion-dollar package from Congress to help a stimulus. But now Mnuchin is talking about $4 trillion. <laughs> So they're getting desperate. And uh, if it doesn't succeed, if it doesn't – well, if it succeeds – it will succeed only in hyperinflating the system, which is basically destroying the currency. Uh, I'm not sure. I, I'm not like, um, don't have a crystal ball. It, it could go either way. It could go into a hyperinflationary collapse or a complete deflationary collapse. I think it will be the latter. And it's always good to have precious metals because there will be no counterparty risk. You just saw what I talked about uh, in Scandinavia, sorry, in Sc Scandinavia, a lot of investors are not getting their money. Uh, they've blocked their funds. Uh, Pat, uh, your last video on the Plaza Accord was very interesting. I think you were right. Well, let's see what happens tonight. I, I, I heard that uh, the president of the U.S. is going to speak soon. I don't know what time he's speaking. Uh, I think Nixon. <laughs> uh on August 15th, 1971, that was a Sunday as well. I think they interrupted uh, Bonanza, which was a, a show that I used to like watching, Bonanza, just for uh, Nixon to uh, come on, on TV. Uh, we'll see what happens. Hi, Mick. Adnan Udin. Hi, Adnan. Uh, Isabella. Hi, Isabella from Austria Worldwide military operations at the moment well i heard that they're stopping that um, exercise in europe because of the coronavirus so mcdonald's only taking card payments yeah their excuse of course is that cash is uh you know uh dangerous it could uh, transmit uh i went to a shop yesterday um like at the uh, petrol station or gas station, as the Americans would call, and they took uh, they were they took cash. the The guys uh, behind the counter were wearing gloves, though. Hi, John K. Adnan Udin. I'm not sure. I mean, the cryptos have risen uh, in the last few days. Not think I don't think uh, cryptos are out of the woods yet. I think you have time to buy cryptos cheaper. Sander 81 is Austrian economics also based on debt credit. No, uh, the Austrians they espouse uh, the free market, sound money, which is gold and silver. They think that uh, every producer is also a consumer. So in our current system, they want to make everyone consumers and borrowers. The Austrians, they don't say that uh, there shouldn't be any debt, but uh, it should be more balanced. They they don't see money as debt. They see money as sound money, commodity money, gold and silver. Oh, we got Bitcoin Ben. Thank you, Bitcoin Ben, for your uh, super chat donation. Uh, uh, thank you, and you're welcome uh, for what you said there. Uh, Primar Primark shutting all shops. I saw that. I think they're doing it. Uh, have they done it already tonight or tomorrow? I'm not sure. Oh, I wanted to uh, talk to you guys about uh, 
because there uh, with this crisis there's so much uh, some so many different opinions uh, what's going to happen i mean I, I listened to cliff high his latest video and i wanted to slip my wrists <laughs> uh, i'm not you know he he and a lot of the stuff he said he doesn't have anything any uh, data to prove it so yeah don't <laughs> if you want to get depressed watch cliff high but uh, i did a little bit of analysis and i'll read here uh, what i what i uh, analyzed so i looked at uh, how many people die every day normally uh, before the crisis mortality uh, rate, right? And I found out that, uh, and, I, and this is what I said, I, I think I put this on Facebook. I said, one point I would make is that 150,000 people die every day. So that's the mortality rate on the planet. So since records have been kept for COVID-19 on January 23rd, 2020, up until yesterday, uh, March 21st, 2020, or 59 days, uh, there have been approximately uh, 8 million 850,000 or 150,000 times 59 days deaths. So normally uh, in this period, almost 10, uh, 9 million people die anyway, right? Of course, a lot of babies are born. Uh, out of these deaths, two-thirds have been from the elderly population, and this is not the COVID deaths, this is the normal deaths, or 5,841,000. So since January 23rd, 2020, there have been 12,973 C deaths. So the C deaths are 0.146% of total deaths. So does that mean I'm not worried and that I'm going to go out? and do loads of stuff. Well, anyway, I can't go out anymore and do loads of stuff, unfortunately. But I think it we need to keep it in perspective. Uh, and that number is quite interesting. <laughs> and in Italy as well, 1,700 people die every day. I, I looked at the Italian numbers. 663,000 people die every year in Italy. Just uh, And two-thirds of those are elderly <laughs> because of old age. Uh, thank you, Graham, uh, for your uh, 777. Don't forget to support Mario and Billy. Links below uh, B Bitcoin. Yeah, I do have links below in the description of my video uh, for Bitcoin and some other cryptos and uh, also um, Patreon or uh, PayPal, uh, me, PayPal.me, I think, yeah. Jazz Atwell, uh, you are wrong on this. This is a lab altered virus escaped from a lab in Wuhan. Oh, I know it is. I know it is. All I'm saying, I I'm looking, I'm not wrong about the data. Uh, it's true that 150,000 people die every day. Uh, so what you're saying to me then is that the official data on this virus is wrong, right? Um I might be wrong. It might accelerate. We might start getting, uh, instead of getting 12,000 deaths in 60 days, we're going to get maybe uh, 100 million uh, extra. And then I'd be worried. But right now, it doesn't seem to be uh, what's happening. Uh, Sander81, why do you expect the deflation bank can print as much as they want? Uh, well, because uh, had one thing I was thinking about, when people stay home, don't do anything, and we don't know how long we're going to be in this kind of situation, you don't spend as much. <laughs> you don't go out to the football game. You don't, do, uh, you go, you don't go on holidays. So, yeah, they might uh, pump uh, the system, and they might expect people to... Uh, start borrowing again because this system works on borrowing and people might not. They might say, no, I don't want to borrow. And and that's when you get like a, a deflationary collapse of financial assets. And that's what we're getting right now. They've tried. They've been trying the last few weeks and look at what the stock market has done. 
But I also said that they might succeed <laughs> if this crisis ends quickly and we get back to normal life uh, in about uh, three months, which I think is a bit uh, optimistic, and people start behaving exactly like they used to do before this crisis. And I, I don't think that's going to happen. But if it does, yeah, and then people go out and start spending and start traveling, then we could get a hyperinflation. So it's up in the air still, I think. I don't think really anyone knows what's going to happen. I think uh, what we're going through right now, and it doesn't matter what you think, how it happened, it's quite unprecedented. And, and I think in those times, it's good to have something that has been around for 5,000 years. It survived many other uh, crises like this in, hundreds of years ago, or thousands of years ago. Hold on to your physical uh, gold and silver. I think that's important. That's the only thing I can think that uh, will provide some stability. Of course, we need to worry as well. I think even more about than gold and silver, trying to stay healthy, trying to manage our uh, household, the stock of food and everything. Uh, yeah, it, it, so it's not just gold and silver. It's not going to solve our problems, but it will help us uh, cope through it, uh, in my opinion. Corona easily cured with CDS plus. Hi, Anonymous. <laughs> Billy is waiting for the moonshot. Yeah, I think we need to learn how to, uh, you know, groom Billy pretty soon because his groomer has uh, stopped uh, her business. So I'm uh, going to have to learn how I, I can give him a bath and everything, but clipping him is tricky. Uh, Adnan, uh, why does the stock market fall and cryptos fall? I don't know. They just fall together. Uh, it doesn't happen all. Yeah, they, they're, they've they got the same cycle, I guess. That's why. Rene, uh what will happen to prices with all this helicopter money and supply chain disruptions? Uh, they will go up. <laughs> they will go up because uh, there won't be enough goods on the shelves and people are still going to have some money. Uh, but at the same time, prices of holidays, of course, are going to be very low. Not many people are going to be traveling uh, and other things as well. Thank you, Nacho Fu, for your super chat donation. The other thing is, well, I think there's a lot of trouble still in the financial markets, uh, in the repo market. And uh, another uh, thing that I, I heard about is that, um, you know, in the financial markets, in the bond markets, the bond markets are bigger than the stock markets. They're more important. In the bond market, uh, we saw the Fed had to uh, start helping municipal bonds, uh, commercial paper, which is like short-term corporate bond market. Um, the liquidity is not there. I spoke with a friend of mine. He works in the bond markets. He invests in the bond markets. He does have some gold, but he said that you, if you have an emerging market bond and you call the dealer to get a price, he's, they're not making prices, so that you can't sell them. That's why those funds in Scandinavia closed down because there's no market. So one thing that I read is that uh, FINRA, they regulate the broker dealers in the US. So if you're a broker dealer in the US, you have to pass all these tests and have all these, uh, how can I say, licenses. And there's one one rule uh, of FINRA, FINRA is that market makers or dealers, they cannot make markets from home. It's illegal. So New York is in lockdown. If they send all the dealers home, broker dealers, there won't be a market for bonds. Uh, bonds are usually traded over the counter. 
uh, or people have to make markets. Stock market is different. They could trade online. So this is very serious. We need to keep an eye on this. And that's why I, I wanted to interview Jim Rickards the other day because he talks about that, which is ICE-9, which isn't the, the end of the world, but it's uh, closing down the whole financial market, <clears throat> close down the banks, there won't be any cash at the ATMs, nothing. And uh, it could last uh, for, for weeks or months. So I think we need to keep that in mind. Right now, I, I made a video the other day saying that um, the markets are becoming irrelevant for now, financial markets, and I think they are. You need to be careful. You can still trade, of course, if you want. I'm not stopping you. But you need to be aware that you might not be able to uh, get out of a position because of uh, the triggers uh, in the market. And they might also shut everything down. I don't know if Trump has started speaking yet, but uh, yeah, they could one day, if the stock market keeps going lower next week, this coming week now, uh, that could be uh, something to think about. But not only the stock market, we need to keep an eye on the bond market. And I think uh, there's something called fallen angels. They're uh, investment grade bonds that are very near uh, one notch above junk. And there's about three and a half trillion of them. In 2005, there's only 650. And I bet you at least 20% of those, if not more, are going to become junk very soon. That's going to make it even worse. Uh, so don't want to be a doom, doom, a doom uh, merchant, but uh, this is the reality. So let's look at some uh, questions if anyone's got any. Uh, David Bradley, Japan gave citizens stimulus refund checks and most of Japanese saved it. Yeah, I know about that. Yeah, not sure uh, if Americans or the Brits would do that. They probably, the majority would probably spend it. Anonymous, we will find out soon, has to do with gold asset back system. MM No, uh, mash the like button. Yeah, thank you, MM No, for the uh, uh, cheerleading. <laughs> yeah, oh, uh, uh, the reset. I've always said that uh, the Dow Gold ratio will show you how far along we are, the reset. So, I calculated uh, before the live stream back in the, in 2000, the Dow Gold ratio was around 42, let's say. And uh, now we're just uh, above 12. So the Dow has already corrected 70% lower versus gold <laughs> since 2000. But also uh, we've gone from 2008, that was the high in the Dow. You might say, oh, the how the high was in February. No, the high versus real money, that was uh, around 22. So we're now almost at, at 12. So the reset is happening. I think this time is going to be be below uh, one to one. That means you're going to be able to, to buy a, a lot more than just one Dow with one ounce of gold. I don't know at what price that will be. It could be at, let's say, 6000 dollar gold and four thousand uh, dollar dow it could be at two thousand dollar gold and one thousand dow you might uh, think wow gold you think gold is only going up to two thousand well it wouldn't matter if gold's at two thousand if the dow is at a thousand it means everything else is lower so in the relative terms that would be a good thing well for holders of gold of course <laughs> Vaja, yeah, if they send checks, buy gold with it. That's right. I got uh, one of my and the Fed mugs. <laughs> I, I designed another mug yesterday. Uh, I'll put it on the. I'll put the link here. Some of you might like it. Here it is. So it's uh, 
Yeah, it's uh, slay the bullion banks. Only physical gold and silver will slay the bullion banks. And I've got a photo of uh, David uh, uh, ready to uh, slay Goliath. So there you go, if you're interested. Yeah, getting gold and silver is, is harder. And also getting it shipped to you is harder. Uh, some bullion dealers here in the UK have said that they can't guarantee the uh, Royal Mail or post ship shipping. It might be worth paying a little more for them to uh, ship it to you, Federal Express or any other courier. You might have to pay a bit more, but it will be safe. escape key games i agree with you <laughs> i think that that first uh war that people are not even going to talk about that anymore that's going to go off the uh radar george soros I, I thought you meant goldman sachs george soros i love gs is that george goldman sachs <laughs> george soros i love bill gates and warren buffett is that a troll here George Soros. I, yeah. Anonymous, do countries get central bank money with their population decreases or are social security numbers fate traded on the, the market? I don't think the, the social security numbers are traded on the stock market. Uh, I mean, I think they're part of the national insurance or social security, but... Um, I mean, the way central banks create uh, the credit is they uh, just, well, like uh, the founder of the Bank of England uh, said, that um, they create money or uh, credit entries out of thin air. So, you know, if uh, the UK Treasury or the US Treasury, they want to borrow a billion dollars or a billion pounds, uh, what uh, the central banks will do, they won't buy it directly from them they'll they'll have they'll give uh the uh, commercial banks the wherewithal to buy uh that debt from uh the government and uh the way they do that uh the central banks uh lend money through the uh, discount window to well they lend nothing to, <laughs> to the commercial banks through the discount window or through uh, they lend that money to the commercial banks and they go and buy this debt the reason they do that is because they can't they gotta make it seem like a, it's a a real uh exchange of value but it's not basically uh it's the fed buying indirectly those treasuries out of thin air they just type on their uh, computer keyboard and they, they create a billion or 10 billion or 500 billion. And then they give uh, the commercial banks, the primary dealers access to that, uh, to that credit and they go and buy the stuff, the bonds, uh, when they're issued by the treasury. But the Fed can buy those treasuries from the secondary market so they can say no we're not monetizing that we're buying it from the market but it's all a scam boot out sorrows yeah i've got some uh some moderators uh if they could do that i'd appreciate it yeah so the central banking system has been going on really since uh 1660s i think this the Riks bank in sweden is the first central bank but the granddaddy of the central banks really is the bank of england that was 1694 and uh i would really uh hope that uh, what we're seeing now is the destruction of that system i think that would be the best thing for the world uh going forward yes it's going to be painful. We're already seeing that it's painful. I think this crisis, uh, the C disease, is just a catalyst for the uh, meltdown of the system. And hopefully we'll get a better system on the other side. 
So we don't have as many people here today, 252. Maybe some people are listening to um, to POTUS. I don't know what time he's going to speak. The Watcher, the Rothschilds have been playing the world for centuries. Yeah, they have. They have. I mean, if you look historically, they I'm not sure they were involved in the creation of the Bank of England, but they they've definitely been involved uh, since the uh, late 1700s, early 1800s. Uh, I was reading an article the other day, I think yesterday, uh, in the FT, they're talking about bailing out or not bailing out, but buying equity. The government, UK government, buying shares in British Airways. And I read through the article, <laughs> and at one point it said that Rothschild Bank is advising the government. So Rothschild Bank would never advise the government to not do that. Uh, they would never advise the government to actually allow um, British Airways to collapse, to go under. Uh, why do we need a, an airline uh, carrier anyway if no one's traveling right now and if things get better people can always create you know it's easy to create a company and start a new company but the, the thing about the Rothschilds is that they uh, they love debt well they love debt for others I'm sure they don't have any debt so and the best way to uh, do really well from debt is to lend to governments because governments have the, the power to uh, tax people. Yeah, and that's the way the Rothschilds have always operated. They've all, always operated. Their clients are governments. They don't deal with people like us. They do have private clients, but they have to be mega wealthy. So, yeah, that's been the Rothschild uh, model. Uh, just uh, play, lend to all governments. Uh, make sure you, you, you so that... If one government wins a war, you know, uh, and the other one loses, they're covered. So they've been very clever. You have to give them credit for that. I'm not saying I like them. Yeah. <laughs> Hi. Bye bye, British Airways. Hello, Billy, Billy Airways. That's right. Uh, B O Beowulf. Uh, Trump is taking down the Fed. Hmm. We'll see. We'll see. <laughs> uh, doesn't I mean? Doesn't look like he's doing that now. But maybe he's like giving giving them a lot of rope, getting them to cut rates. And I don't know. <laughs> I don't know about Trump. Five thirty p. So that's not, well. That's in a minute. He's going to be speaking. Uh, so yeah, we're still only four hours ahead. Next Sunday we'll be back to the normal five hours ahead of Eastern Time here in London. Uh, Stephen Kendall, uh, the world needs more Mario's. Keep up the great work. Thank you, uh, Stephen. Boeing, uh, yeah, <laughs> Boeing. It looks like they could. Uh, I think they're gonna try to bail it, bail it out. Yeah, I think the Rothschilds through uh, was it Ross? He used to work for the Rothschilds. They uh, helped save uh, Trump's companies. I think in the early nineties. Yeah, MM, no, I agree with you, what you're saying there about the Fed and the, the president. How do you see the end to the Fed? Well, the only way to uh, abolish the Fed is through an act of Congress, because that's how it was created. So it will take uh, the public to elect uh, the right kind of politicians that would uh, want to do that or they or they could uh, shoot themselves in the foot maybe that's what trump's trying to do 
they create su they've created such a huge bubble and if it collapses and it obliterates the economy and it, and it could people might uh, start asking questions because if if the economy is doing well and people are doing okay they're not going to ask questions about the fed so maybe this crisis will start at, you know people will start asking questions Uh, escape key games. How will large foreign holders of U.S. treasuries react to infinite printing? Uh, well, they will try to avoid holding on to it because they they are not stupid. They know infinite printing means loss of uh, purchasing power. They're just like us. Yes, R. Sanchez, I agree with you. What you're saying there about Trump. The other thing people don't realize is that Powell, uh, Jay Powell, w which was the guy that Trump nominated, he used to work for the Carlisle Group. Uh, Carlisle Group, of course, is a, a Bush family uh, private equity group, Saudi private equity group. So these guys are all related. So Trump is not against the globalists or Bush. He's working with them. He hired... Uh, William Barr as his attorney general. He was the attorney general for George Herbert Walker Bush. So uh, I'm not, sh you know, people need to wake up <laughs> about Trump. But I watched a video today, uh, high impact flicks or vlogs. And he was talking about how Trump, uh, when he was campaigning, was having a go at the Fed that rates and the economy were artificial. Uh, that Obama, that they were keeping rates at zero and doing QE to help Obama. But now he's asking for the same things. W what's happened to candidate Trump? Physical has dried, says the watcher. Well, gold investments, they still uh, have stock. Goldinvestments.co.uk, Monaco 64 promo code. You can still get uh, stuff from them. Billy, there he is. Billy just woke up. Trump said that the gold that gold will take down the bankers. I hope so. Uh, thank you, uh, Venetian Lion, for your uh, super chat with physical precious metals drawing up thoughts on currency flowing into mining stocks. Did well in the first great depression be safe and sane yeah i agree with you uh, about that being the first great depression i think we're in the second and maybe even worse depression yeah home stake mining did well in the 30s i think it was up 500 percent. i do expect um uh, my miners to do well uh but you need to be really careful which companies you pick especially with what is going on right now in the world. You could have a, a mining company uh, that's doing well, but then they stop uh, operations because of the crisis. But uh, I think in the long term, they will, will do well. Right now, things are a little bit uh, shaky. Uh, if they were to shut down the, the financial markets, that would be... Uh, you wouldn't be able to get your money out of the, the those companies. But I think... At, Longer term, it's a good place to be because the the price of uh, fiat currencies, dollar, pounds, euros, Jap Japanese yen, they're going to keep going lower uh, versus precious metals. Um, they're going to keep inflating that. Or even if uh, we have a deflationary collapse, gold will still be a safe place like, like it was in the 30s. Uh, of course, it was confiscated. Uh, the the coins and bars but uh, you could still own uh shares in uh mining companies do i think it we're gonna see confiscation this time around i don't think so because it's not as big a part of uh people not as many people own gold nowadays as they did in the 30s because that was money back then but then again you can't rule out anything anymore uh but uh, i'd rather have gold even if they were going to come here and try to confiscate it i'd rather have gold and silver 
in the UK or in the US than not have it. Hi, Paola. Nice to see you here. Yeah, you're late, but uh, we're going to keep going for a while if you don't. And then this uh, live stream will be uh, recorded and you can watch the whole thing. There you go. Vajra says Pan American Silver is closed because of the virus. So, yeah, that's the point uh, there. Uh, the, the metal might do better because if there's uh, no supply coming from the mines, uh the the metal itself the the coins and bars are going to become even uh, more scarce so you need to think about those things it's not we're we're in unprecedented times as i said so it's 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 tricky Escape Key Games, the UK media is pushing themes of common purpose. Yeah, I've heard of common purpose. They're really shadowy uh, group. Uh, what are they saying? And the greater good. This will be used to suppress critical thinking. Yeah, preppers will become enemies of the state. They do. They always do that in times of war as well. If you criticize the war effort, you are not patriotic, right? The thing is, uh, I don't watch the TV anymore, so I <laughs> thank you for letting me know, But and I'm not surprised. Uh, the Watcher, thank you for the super chat. I have a pint on me when the golf club op opens back up. Yeah, the, the clubhouse is clo closed. The golf course is open. I did play today, this morning, with three other guys, but that's all we did. We played and we left, came back home, but I think I'm going to stop. I'm not sure. You know, it, there's so much uh, people are talking about, but it was nice to go out and play. You, you also need exercise so you can breathe <laughs> and keep your lungs working. You, you can't stay in the house all the time. Research Boeing. Hmm. Mick, what do you think? I've heard that there might be a cash... Ban on cash and or freeze credit. What do you think is more likely, uh, Mick? I think uh, we're near. Uh, it's getting really close to uh, a shutdown of the whole uh, financial system. So they would. I think it cards. Yeah, they might want to push cards and uh, digital in the future because of this crisis. But in the interim, I think they we could see the system shut down. So I actually think having cash will be a good thing. But who knows? Uh, I've heard that some shops will only accept card because they don't want to touch the, the cash. But I went to a, a store yesterday, a petrol station or gas station, and they, they have a little mini market. And I bought a few things, and they, they did accept cash and card. Uh, Maggie Mays, uh, I think ETFs are a really bad idea. Uh, inverse, even worse. Uh, read uh, Jim Rickard's book, uh, Aftermath. He talks about in a crisis like we are right now, ETFs could become like they could evaporate. So, yeah, hedging is something that you got to be careful with. Uh, not be careful because you're hedging, but it might not work because ETFs are, uh, yeah, they're, uh, how can I say, they're derivatives and uh, they're dependent on counterparties. Trump says what's expected, nothing is coincidental there. <laughs> the watcher over 1,000 cases of COVID. Yeah. Yeah, I think I'm going to stay in the house a bit. It looks like it's serious. Uh, Evander Farson, do you think it's 
makes sense to take out a large personal loan to buy metals? No, I, I personally don't. I think that's the whole problem is debt. I, if I don't have uh, the money to buy it, I don't buy it. And uh, you need to to think about, um, yeah, pretty soon uh, they might shut those kind of things down that you might not be able to go get a loan. So, but it's up to you though. ETNs and, and ETFs, they're all bad uh, anonymous exchange traded notes or ex exchange traded funds. A lot of times they're written by uh, banks like Credit Suisse, Wall Street banks, and these banks are in trouble. So I wouldn't touch ETFs or ETNs. Yeah, Calbert Singh, yeah, our golf, the golf course is open, but uh, not the clubhouse nor the bar. I do, we do have some masks. I did buy some masks about a month ago, haven't worn them. And, and what I do is, what I have as well is colloidal silver. I sprayed that every day, my hands and face, colloidal silver. I do have probably, I think I have some ski goggles. <laughs> yeah, Mick, you're right. No leveraging. I think you got to, I think, I don't know if any of you know uh, Jim Sinclair from JS Mindset. A few years ago, he was saying, uh, get out of the, GOTS, G O T S, get out of the system. I think he was a bit early. I think this is the case now. Gots, get out of the system. This is not going to be a time to make money being short or long. This is a time to preserve your wealth, I think. Uh, yeah, it's going to be completely... Uh, I don't think anyone alive today has experienced what we're going to see. I think it's going to be pretty bad. Maybe some someone who's really old, but... Uh, A bit of both, John DeGlass, I would say. I think it's a lot more the latter. I think it's being exaggerated a lot. Of course, it has to be uh, international, David, like you said, or else they can't give, um, they can't have a global solution, globalist solution. Escape key games, social credit system to be introduced, falling, banning a cash, no access to, yeah. The other thing I was listening to, I hadn't listened to him for a long time, Alex Jones. He thinks the other thing they're going to do is uh, if you, uh, when they come up with a vaccine, if you don't have, uh, if you don't take the vaccine, they won't let you travel abroad. You will only be able to go to a foreign country uh, and get a visa or travel or have a passport if you have the vaccine i think that i hope that doesn't happen i don't think that would be a good thing yeah they could put that g1 west they could put that in the vaccine nano chips Uh, Isabella thinks Alex Jones is a troll. Yeah, I mean, he, he, you could be right, and I do think a lot of times he is, but a lot of the things he says uh, are true. <laughs> it's just the way he, he comes out with it. He loses a lot of credibility, so you could be right. He's a troll to put people off, um, but uh, I still think a lot of the things he says make sense if you just ignore the his trollinish, if I can say that word. Uh, Isabella thinks vaccine is eugenics of the new world order and will stop soon. Well, that would be good. Maybe you could share your thoughts on who the bad actors are that own the central banks. 
Well, I think they're like, um, you need to read a book called uh, Our Crowd. Let me get it. I've got it. One second. Yeah, if you want to learn who owns the central banks, uh, this book was recommended by Jim Sinclair. And he his name is Sinclair, but his uh, family name, really, because he changed his uh, surname, was Seligman. Uh, and he, he recommended people read this book, Our Crowd. So these are the people who own the central banks. So if you want to find out, read this book. This is an old one. I don't know if you can still find it. It's by uh, Stephen Birmingham. Our crowd. There you go. So what does it say here? Here are the Seligmans. So that's Jim Sinclair's family. Uh, transformed overnight from peddlers to financial advisors to presidents. Here is Jacob Schiff. Not long ago of the Frankfurt ghetto contending with J. Pierpont Morgan himself. Here's Otto Kahn engaging Gatti, Casaza, and Toscanini to bring the Metropolitan Opera to the premier rank. Here are the Lehmans rising from peddlers to cotton brokers to bankers to public servants. Happily, Stephen Birmingham has brought to his task all the skills of a good novelist his delight is poking around behind the massive facades in examining the jealousies, tensions, snobberies, courtships, social disciplines, grief, griefs, and absurdities. So, yeah, our crowd. And I think there are more people behind it. Some people think a lot of the uh, ancient families, like uh, noble uh, you know, families of Europe, there's still a lot of them out there. I think they own a lot. They're part of, they own a lot of the central banks. Um, George Washington, for example, many of you might not know, but I saw that when I went to the uh, Bank of England Museum a couple of years ago. He, ha he, him and his wife had shares in the Bank of England, George Washington. He got paid dividends by the Bank of England. Did he buy those shares? No. Uh, it, his wife's uh, husband, he, uh, he died. She was a widow, of course, uh, and his family had some shares. So it went to um, to him and his wife when he married the the widow. Was it uh, Martha Custis? I think her name. So yeah. So I I think uh, yeah these people are very important, but they're not the only ones who who own the central banks. Astor, yeah, they're probably, I think the Royals as well, they own part of the central banks. They have a lot of shares. Warburg, yeah, they're, they're in it. The Rothschilds as well. Rockefellers, even though, yeah, Rockefellers, the Morgans. Dale McRae, why do central banks only buy gold? Well, they do buy uh, other uh, kind of, uh, they do buy paper uh, assets, but gold, it's because it's money. That's why. It's uh, without, without gold, they wouldn't be able to operate. People would have no confidence uh, in them. And that's why they don't want you to have it, because if the public knew how important gold and silver are, they would clean out the central banks, and they could. And that's why we need to let people know that it's important to have physical gold and silver. You shouldn't do the ETFs or ETNs. So I did a, a campaign yesterday on, uh, on my Teespring store. So there's a mug and there's a T-shirt as well. It says, uh, only physical gold and silver will slay the bullion banks. 
Yeah, bullion banks are basically the agents for the central banks. So yeah, people need to stop uh, if they want to. Uh, yeah, if they want to fight fight the central banks, the best thing to do is to try to get as much physical gold and silver that you can. <laughs> Sander 81, I'm not too sure about that, but uh, if they can get any. When do you get tax when exchanging precious metals for fiat at the time of exchange? Uh, in the UK, there is no tax for uh, if you buy coins of the realm like Britannia's uh, sovereigns. Uh, there's no tax when you get rid of uh, your gold because it's a currency. I think in France there are taxes, but there are ways around it. You have to check. Um, I think the secret is to buy uh, gold coins that are legal tender, that have a, a face value, and it can be from any other country. The tax authorities might consider that currency. So usually currency or money... Uh, don't incur taxes. The Creature from Jekyll Island. Yeah, that's a good book about the Fed. Bitcoin is Corona proof. Okay, uh, taxes on purchases in California under 1500 Why is President Trump taking so long to do his daily press conference? Is he waiting for the Asian markets to open? Um, the Asian markets actually, well, he might be waiting for uh, the futures market uh, to open. The futures market opens in about uh, seven minutes. I think the Asian markets open about an hour later. So it's not the Asian markets, it's the futures like uh, the Dow future, S&P future, uh, precious metals future. They open in about seven minutes. Maybe he's waiting for that. Uh, I saw earlier today, uh, there's a betting uh, uh, like platform, spread trading it's called. Right now it's called, it, it says that the Dow is down 300, the weekend Dow. But that's not the future. This is probably what he's waiting for, for the, the futures market to open. All right, I'll take a, a few more questions. Uh, we're getting uh, to the hour mark. So I'll take a few more questions before I go. CME was running low on cash. Well, I don't think the exchange uh, itself trades or takes positions. What you mean is probably the people trading on the exchange. Josh Reporter, do you think central banks are getting stronger as Greg Manorino states because they're issuing more debt? Yes, partly they are. But the thing is that people, uh, if people, uh, that it gets to a point where people lose confidence in that debt because if, um, if the more debt you had was always a good thing, Countries like Zimbabwe and Venezuela would be doing very well. So I'm not too sure. I think they need to be careful, the central banks, that they don't increase their balance sheet so much uh, to a point where investors lose confidence and then don't want to hold that debt that they create. Yeah, pushed. I'm not surprised because he's going to wait. For, he wants to see where the market opens uh give it 30 minutes to see what thing where things go and then uh yeah okay uh everyone thank you for uh 
the super chat donations. Thank you just for being here as well and uh, participating. Uh, and uh, I, I wish you all a good rest of uh, this Sunday. If you're in the Far East, <laughs> a good Monday. Uh, full of hope. Uh, just the last question. Why did Prince Harry leave the royal family business? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Uh, okay, everyone. Uh, thank you very much and uh, take care. Bye.